Hello, if you haven't gotten the news yet, Nikon just released new firmware for the Z5, the Z72, and the Z62. In today's photo news brief, I'll talk about what's included in the new Nikon Z firmware. Watch the entire video to find out what you need to know about the Z63. It's gonna save us from... Watch this photo news brief to get the latest on the Nikon Z62 and the Nikon Z63. It's trendy. Welcome to the channel. My name is Vaughn. Nikon has released a firmware update for those Z users that complained that Nikon wasn't doing enough for the Nikon Z mirrorless camera users. If you're a Nikon Z62 or a Z72 owner, this is a minor upgrade. This upgrade is so minor that you might have the notion that Nikon has already moved on to the Nikon Z63. Go away! If you watched my previous videos, then you know that I mentioned that Nikon would throw the proverbial bone before a new release. It's happening already. Now let me go over what's included with firmware 1.61 for the Nikon Z62 and the Z73 and the Z5, which is 1.4 1.2. If you're a new user, I have a video that shows you how to install firmware updates to your Nikon camera. Go to the link above. Here are the details for firmware 1.61 and 1.42. This firmware upgrade fixed an issue that in rare circumstances in which the camera did not turn on or the camera's date and time were not set correctly when the camera was not used for an extended period of time. Wow, that didn't take long. Exciting stuff, right? Hey, I just love my Nikon Z62 camera. Leave those comments if you think this update is what you wanted. Next, I wanna talk about the experience I had with my Nikon Z62 and my Z9. Recently, I had a photography shoot with a younger family member. She's a local cheerleader at a high school. Her cheerleading team needed some photos for an exhibition and they knew I was a photographer. I bought the Nikon Z9 with a f2.8 70 to 200 lens and a nikkor z 40 miller f2 for uh, group shots i first started using the z9 with its excellent subject detection and black hour pre-shooting the cheerleaders were doing leg kicks and jumps and the z9 subject detection captured them with no issues the static shots were so easy that i forgot i was shooting with a electronic shutter and I took a few more photos than expected that happens. Next, I wanted to do some group portraits with a Nikon Z6 II. I had to make a decision. Do I want to use subject detection or single point autofocus? I had to figure out whether I wanted hit and miss portraits with the subject detection or slow down and use single point autofocus. Which decision would you make? This is when I started to daydream about that Nikon Z63. You're probably wondering, what could the Nikon Z63 save me from? No, not that. I need the Nikon Z63 to save me from blurry photos. You know, where the autofocus chooses something contrasty that it likes or subject detection is focused on an eye, but it's actually focused on a lip. Think about it. If it's better than the Nikon ZF and autofocus with its rumored dual X-Speed 7 processors and the nine subject detection modes like the Nikon Z9, then I can use it without fear of blurry photos, just like I use my Z9. How did my photos turn out with the Nikon Z6 II? Great, because I use single point autofocus. Now, I'm not an expert on Nikon camera releases, but I've noticed Nikon's trends and the Nikon Z6 III is definitely trending. And I can see an announcement coming soon. So make sure that you watch all the photo news briefs so you can get trending Nikon news. 
Thank you for watching and watch my other photo news briefs.